Um, this video is um, me going into a, a little bit more in depth about my um, flywheel weight or my heavy flywheel. Um, one of my YouTube subscribers, uh, Dana Massey, he said, uh, Hey KP, just wanted to say that I really enjoyed your videos. I watch a lot of videos and I say yours are some of the best MX vlogs I've seen. Nice, dude. Thank you. Um, I am anxious to see your thoughts on the flywheel you installed. Hope you keep making more videos. So, uh, first off, thank you for the kind words, Dana. When I did my unboxing video, I got that um, GYTR heavy flywheel. It's, I can't remember if it's 8.4 or 8.7 ounces. I'll have to look, out, look it up. But um, I went with that instead of one of the flywheel weights like a Steli or whatever, one that you just add on to your OEM one. And I did that. I went with a, just a complete separate one because it's the weight's already welded on. So there's no extra bolts to come loose or anything like that. So that's my reason for that. And if I don't like it, it'll be a lot easier for me just to you know zip the thing off <laughs> when I actually get a flywheel puller. Uh, Thanks, Cole, for letting me borrow your flywheel puller. I have my four-stroke one, but not a two-stroke one. Um, so, yeah, so went to the track on Sunday, and I got to test that thing out. And I was really skeptical and also really nervous that I wasn't going to like it. And my first thoughts is when I first went on the track for my uh, warm-up ride, I was just cruising, you know, not really doing much, just, you know, sight-lapping it. And right away, I didn't really notice anything, which was which is good. I was afraid that it was just going to, you know, suck. So I was like, all right, it feels pretty normal. Okay, cool. Very happy with it. And then once I started riding, I started noticing that um, the bike was more mellow, but in a good way. Like, my biggest fear was that it was just going to make the bike slow and, um, you know, unresponsive or it wouldn't react and it didn't do that. It actually had the opposite effect. It made it, in its own way, it made it more responsive and it handled a lot better. For example, um, it's not as, I guess, twitchy coming out of the corners. It doesn't want to um, jerk on the handlebars or anything when it hits the power band. And that's when they hook up. When What usually happens is they don't hook up. They slide around a lot. And... Uh, so you get um, like wheel hop or it'll kind of kick out on you a little bit and stuff. And the flywheel weight or heavy flywheel, I don't know what the hell. <laughs> it's a heavy flywheel. I didn't get the weight. Anyway, um, that made it better because it it eliminated all that. It, it'll still spin. Any dirt bike will still spin. But, uh, you know, it was a lot more predictable. It was a lot more responsive. It kind of tamed it down like almost like a four stroke, but not quite. It's no four stroke. And um, I don't know, like it wouldn't bog down as easy. So you could get away with a lot more. Um, you know, you don't have to slip the clutch. I still slip the clutch because I'm just a clutch destroyer. But, um,. Yeah, you could you could go through a corner in third gear and not touch the clutch, and it'll pull you right out of there. So that was really cool. And um, another thing is when I do slip the clutch, coming out of a tight right hander around the tree, um, I would always click down into second, and I'd rev it up and I'd dump the clutch, and I'd kind of just spin out of there and go. With the flywheel weight, it hooked up, and I would do a wheelie like every time. So I had to make some adjustments I'm like I gotta get off the clutch or if I'm gonna or if I'm gonna clutch it you know one at a time clutch and then throttle or or even just slip that clutch because I just drop it and I get wheeling and lose my balance and going out to to my left when out of a right hander so you know that obviously wasn't good and um it just gave me a lot more confidence coming out of the corner a lot more traction it wasn't slower by any means. It was it's sick, man. I recommend anybody to get one or at least try one. I was uh, I was skeptical, 
Um, I was thinking, you know, oh, that's what all the Woods guys do and stuff. But that's they put, you know, even heavier flywheel weights on there, like 12 ounce or I don't know how high they go. I know 12 ounce is pretty common. Um, I don't know, man. Another nice thing about it is because there's so much more inertia on on the crankshaft is that I'm less likely to uh, stall it if, you know, if I don't get on that clutch enough or in time in a tight corner. And uh, even with that, with the extra inertia, um, it found, it, it almost felt like it changed the gear ratio a little bit. I don't know, maybe because it was getting more traction. Well, no, because if it wasn't getting traction, it would wind up even faster. So when it was hooking up, um, and I would accelerate out of the corner, it, I would get higher in the RPMs faster. I don't, I don't really know why or how to explain it, but the closest thing or an example that I could give is um, when I would go in the back and I'd hit that, that triple and then we go over the bump and turn right and it's the freeway section. Those are the um, three little doubles before you turn around and hit the finish line. Um, I would Sometimes I would make a mistake and accidentally stay in third. I like to click down in a second until I'm in the air on the first one on the freeway and I'll click back up to third. Um, and in my race videos, I'm sure you've seen where I, I missed the downshift or I don't know how you miss a downshift, but I would just forget to downshift or whatever the reason. And it would kind of bog off the lip. Um, with the flywheel way, I could totally get away with leaving it in third gear and going off of that. I'm still going to use second unless, um, you know, I'm like Moto 1 or they just watered or something because then, you know, click a gear higher. But, uh... Yeah, just stuff like that. You can. It's way more forgiving, and you're you're not really losing anything, at least from you know my opinion. And uh, I don't know. You just you got a lot to gain and not very much to lose. So if if you're thinking about doing it, do it. And let me know um, if you guys know any. If you guys want to add, you know, the science behind it or or whatever. You know, I think it's an inertia thing. Um, definitely leave it in the comments if I didn't go over, you know, what you were wondering, just ask in the comments, we'll, we'll we won't do another video of me rambling on about it, <laughs> but, uh, yeah, I just wanted to go ahead and make a video for you, man, hope that's, uh, I answered anything you were, you were wondering, well, is there anything on here, where'd it go? No, I just want to see my thoughts. It's get you one. It's nice. Get one. All right. I'm going to end this now. Thanks for watching. Ask any questions or add anything. If you guys have a flywheel weight and you didn't like it, you know, say why you didn't like it. Or if you agree with me, you know, let me know if there's anything I missed. All right, guys. I'm tired. I'm going to bed. Good night. Comment. Thumbs up. Like, subscribe. All right. See you guys at the track next weekend. It's on. It's going down. Yeah.